Hello everyone, uh, in this video I am going to measure the power consumption of a damn goo or this is just a generic Chinese 50 watts amplifier that supports Bluetooth. Um, there's plenty of these on Amazon selling anywhere between uh, 15 to $20 and uh, they are pretty good. Um, I have a separate video that I'm going to put in the description that uh, describes or review, unbox and assemble this particular device here and actually have another video that demonstrate how I hook it up with the Amazon Echo Dot. Um, anyways, um, I create cons power consumption video because I always wonder how much does devices, electrical devices in my house, how much does it cost me, especially the ones that is plugged in 24 seven a day. So <clears throat> here we go, let's, uh, let's give it a, a measurement. Um, about this. So right now I have this particular device just connected to the speakers. These are both speakers here and uh, is connected. Uh, the audio input is through Bluetooth and uh, broadcasting from this particular device here. So as you can see, this device here is just plugged in uh, using its power there. And uh, there is no uh, audio connection between this device to there because it's powered by Bluetooth. All right, so currently at idle, even without doing anything, unfortunately, that device is uh, sucking up quite a bit of juice. 2.7 watts for doing nothing. 2.8. So it's, it's pulling quite a bit of juice just by doing nothing, uh, actually. And um, that's the unfortunate thing, um, even though it's cheap. Um, all right, so now we are going to ask Alexa certain question and see how uh, how that jumps okay alexa what's the temperature outside right now it's 54 degrees fahrenheit today expect a high of 67 degrees okay so that did not really influence the uh, the power uh so i'm thinking that uh, maybe the power amplifier is on active mode or online mode so i'm going to give it about 30 minutes um, where hopefully this power consumption is going to go down. Uh, so I may be wrong. The fact that the, uh, that particular amplifier would take two point something watts at all time, I think, but it's, it's actually on right now. So let's get, let's, uh, let it time out and, uh, go to sleep. All right. All right. Uh, an hour has passed and uh, currently the um, the power is still showing um, about 2.7, 2.8. Um, the blue light on the amplifier is still on. I haven't used the uh, uh, the device, I don't wanna say her name uh, at all, so it has not been activated for over an hour and uh, it's still on, so I don't know what's going on. So I guess for this particular video's purposes, um, it's safe to say that the um, the power consumption of the Bluetooth amp is about 2.7, 2.8 watts at any given time. All right, so I'm gonna play um, classical music and um, and see how much the uh, the power will uh, go up to. Alexa, play classical music. The station ultimate classical free on Amazon Music. So as we guessed, um, it didn't really go uh, any higher. Alexa, volume three. Uh, because the amp is already on all the time. It never turned off. So that's the disappointing thing about this. Um, I'm going to switch to a wired input using the uh, that particular cable right here and uh, see if maybe if we are in a wired environment Alexa stop hopefully uh, the power consumption will actually go down okay I found something pretty interesting as soon as I connect the headphone jack the power consumption jumps to almost double to like four or five watts even though the other side of the jack is actually not plugged in yet uh, so I'm going to plug this in you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about so as soon as I plug this in Look at that. The power just jumped to 4.8, 4.9. Actually, if I plug in this side, I think it's gonna jump all the way. Oh, there you go. 
Let me turn down the power real quick. I mean the volume, I'm turning down the volume and then I'm going to plug this back in. Okay, there's quite a bit of a buzz there. And we are at 4.8. And there is no sound. Um, so this is surprising. So when you when we are using cable as the input, um, the constant power is actually not lower, it's actually higher. Um, it's almost doubles the uh, the power consumption. All right, so we're gonna do a music play. Okay, so I'm going to um, turn on the music using the uh, wired connector uh, and see how much power uh, it increases. Alexa, play classical music. The station, ultimate classical, free on Amazon Music. I don't think it's gonna increase because Again, the amp is already on. Alexa, volume five. Okay, so let me increase the volume there real quick. Yeah, it's still 4.8, 4.9. It <clears throat> hasn't really uh, changed any. Okay, Alexa, stop. All right, so to summarize, um, this is what we're experiencing right now. So basically, we have the, um, this is a Chinese generic amplifier with Bluetooth, um, two times 50 watts is the uh, power. And, is actually the reverse of what I would guess. In Bluetooth mode, is 2.8 watts uh, continuous, and it never turns off. So it's always 2.8 watts, and uh, it costs approximately two dollars and ten cents per year to have that running 24/7 every day. And using the wired input mode is actually a lot more, and it creates this buzzing noise all the time. So the Bluetooth is actually cleaner and less power so wired mode 4.9 and it will cost you approximately about four dollars something maybe 4 10 4 20 per year so this approximation of how much it costs per year is based on the uh, 10 cents per kilowatt rate um yeah so in conclusion this is a uh, a pretty good solution for having a device like this like the alexa echo dot um, to be able to be uh, powered on uh, with an external speaker to make it sound better. Uh, for example, here I'm powering it using a Bose uh, speaker. But it does cost a lot more, um, meaning you, you're adding another additional $2 and something cents per year uh, having that particular solution. And if you wire it, it costs $4 more per year. Um, well, this uh, concludes this video. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, uh, please give it a thumbs up so other people can discover it and share with your friends. If you like this kind of content, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself videos like these and support my channel. Thank you.